O art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespasses against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And where is the Son of Tatsan <laughs> O Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto yourself, Spared us, supported us, and brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion upon us. Hear us, help us, and accept the supplication and prayers of his saints. For that which is good on our behalf at all time. And forgive us our sins. Nor the And entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear. All envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, the rising up of enemies, and it manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from this church and from this your holy place. But as for the good and useful things, please bestow them upon us. For you have granted us the power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And upon all the power of the enemy. Yeah. 
אינן הם הפנות טבעי אין אורון שאר God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the sick among your people. Pray for our fathers and brothers who are sick with any sickness, whenever in this place or in any place, that Christ our God may grant us with them health and healing and forgive us our sins. Lord, You have visited them with mercy and compassion, heal them, take away from them and from us every sickness and every malady. The spirit of sickness is chased away. Those who have long lain maladies, raise up and comfort. Those who are afflicted by unclean spirits, set them all free. Those who are in prisons or dungeons, those who are in exile or captivity, or those who are held in bitter bondage, O Lord, set them all free and have mercy upon them. For you are he who loosens the bound and lifts up the fallen. No hope of those who have no hope, and the help of those who have no helper. The comfort of the faint heart at the harbor, those in the storm, all souls that are distressed are bound. Grant them mercy, O Lord, grant them rest, grant them refreshment, grant them grace, grant them help, grant them salvation, grant them the forgiveness of their sins and their iniquities. As for us too, O Lord, the sicknesses of our souls heal, and also those of our bodies cure. O you, the true physician of our souls and bodies, the bishop of all flesh, visit us with your salvation. Lord, Ask and entreat your goodness of our mankind and run to the Lord. The sacrifice of the offering and the thanksgiving of those who have offered to the honor and glory of your holy name. Pray for our fathers and brothers who are. Mm-hmm. Pray for those who provide for the sacrifices, offerings, first fruit, oil, incense, covering, reading, book, and altar vessels that Christ our God may reward them in the heavenly Jerusalem and forgive us our sins. Lord, Receive them upon your holy rational altar in heaven as a sweet savor of incense before your greatness in the heavens through the service of your holy angels and archangels as you have received the gifts of the righteous able, the sacrifice of our father Abraham and the two mice of the widow. So also receive your thanks, offerings of your servants, those in abundance or those of scarcity. It are manifest those who desire to offer to you but have none, and those who have offered to you these gifts this very day. Give them the incorruptible instead of the corruptible, the heavenly instead of the earthly, and the eternal instead of the temporal. Their houses and their stores, fill them with every good deed. Surround them, O Lord, by the power of your good angels and archangels, as they have remembered your holy name on earth. Remember also, O Lord, in your kingdom and in this age, too, leave them not be. Lord, Let us praise with the angels, saying, Glory to God in the highest peace on earth, 
and goodwill toward men. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you, we confess you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, King of heaven, God the Father, the Pantocrator, O Lord, the one and only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You have taken away the sin of the world. Receive our prayers unto you, who sits at the right of hand of his Father. Have mercy on us. You only are the Holy. You, on, you, you only are the Most High, my, my Lord Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, glory be to God, the Father. Amen. Every day I will bless you and praise your holy name forever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. From the night season, my soul awakes early unto you. O oh my God, for you upon the earth, I was meditating on your ways, for you have become helper unto me. In the morning you shall hear my voice early. I will stand before you, and you shall see me. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sake of your people. Heed them for the sake of your holy name. Our Father and brethren who have fallen asleep. O Lord, reward their souls. O you are without sin. Lord, have mercy on us. O you are without sin. Lord, help us and receive our supplication. For yours is the glory, the dominion, and treble holiness, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, bless us, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever, amen. And bear us toes, eat, so ben, choice, amen, alleluia. Cherene tentiho ero osies o web, esmehin o oet em partners and say event, ye must not smav and bear a stone. Cherene say at a species and an imbuing and talk me, Petrus was been not eat, ye barthen of sis o web. Lord, our be after all time, that he may forgive us our sins. Ye barthen of smarting and teeth all to court, sis o web, to brustatis. Et in ote teb genus in teti metromi. Intercede in our behalf to for a class that he may forgive us. Cere ne oti parse nos ti oro emmi en ali thini ishe re Before our Lord Jesus Christ, that He may forgive us our sins. O Tiron of Moel, Rasha, Wong, Ben Laskin, O Sadi, Jep and Choice, Ilver, and Sons of Ton Fevol, Kenneth Moel. He has abolished death by His might and made life shine upon us. He is the one who has descended to the lower parts of the earth. Nem Ton and Tiam and Tiav, Naver of Aver. Oti afta kuni nakhi mfo mpo jem gom ina mone mo. He has crushed the gates of brass and broke the bars of iron and wrought out his chosen ones with rejoicing and with joy. Abo la ben chinsi ni maf e kon naf man emton af na muzve be foran. Therefore, we are rich with perfect good things, and in faith we sing, saying, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Sons, verse of the Borah, Tebu, Abton, Fevol, Chenet, Mo'ul. This is he to whom is due glory with his good Father and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. 
His appearance became illuminated, light lightning, and his clothes became white like snow. Now go quickly tell his apostles he has risen from the dead as he said to you. Great is your honor, O oh my glad of the heavenly. For you preach to us the resurrection of the Lord. O Stavros is Demas, O Becheres, O Seb, O Rotevo, Anastas, Ecton, Necron, O Actin, and Becno, no. Intercede on our behalf of the announcer of the resurrection, Michael, the head of the heavenly, that he may forgive us our sins. Shobe and Zoarisums. Shashpin Anshi Angelo, so ever Angel, to ever him knows and beam some bent a crat or if shem shem mister. The only team, Michael, is the first, Gabriel is the second, Raphael is the third, a symbol of the Trinity. Sorry, Sadaki, Sarasi, in the Manani, in my nation, Revoine, so of the Tobem of Eriage and Besor, Cherubim, the Seraphim, the Thorns, the Minions, and Powers, the more incorporeal creatures carrying the throne of God. We go to Tom Everest, Viteros, and take less. Holy God, heal the sick, holy, mighty, you're sleeping. Holy, 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 O oh Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor. Afshan go sam be lelu, ya sharina nifio wo emu, jiagi yu sam in lelu, ya biu fa ben no tipe. Intercede on our behalf, O angelic armies and heavenly orders, that he may forgive us our sins. Kyrios and Veresus, Absolut Benefavos, Solos, and Tepetros, and Manadrias, Ioannes, and Miakumpur. And the rest, Philip and Matthew, Bartholomew, and Thomas, and Joseph, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Canaanite. Tedios, and Matthias, Pavlos, and Marcus, and Lucas, and Seventh, and Mathetis, and Thomas, and Seventh, so dear. Matthias, who was chosen in the place of Judas, all of them, and the rest followed the Master. Abukhrosh, and Abhibolej, and Abhubakai, May the Lord on our behalf, O my lords and fathers, the apostles and the seventy-two disciples, that He may forgive us our sins. Abu Marcus, be Abu Solo, so be Abu Angelis. We have come and enlightened us through your gospel and taught us about the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. All the tribes of the earth were blessed through you and your words have reached the ends of the world. Great to the Lord on our behalf, of the Lord of God, the Evangelist, Saint Mark the Apostle, that he may forgive us our sins. Shobin, so I am saying,
He said, I fled to the land of Egypt to Arminius that I may die in the name of my Savior and that he may forgive me my sins. My time and my wedding will come, O Martha, my beloved mother, for the church is my wedding, and my Savior is my bridegroom. Praise to the Lord on our behalf, O Saint of Victor, remember us before the Lord, that he may forgive us our sins. Ask of him whom you have born, our good Savior, to take away our troubles and grant us his peace. We ask you to remember us, our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ. That he may forgive us our we exalt you, the mother of true light. We glorify you. Send the field to close. You have brought forward unto us the Savior of the world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to you, our Master, our King. Christ, the part of the apostles, the crown of the martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the firmness of the church, the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity in one Godhead. We worship him and glorify him. Lord, our mercy, Lord, our mercy, Lord, bless us. Truly, we believe in one God, God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, who created in heaven and earth, and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, by to fight, true God of true God, begotten, not created, who in his with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, who was the carnival of the Holy Spirit, and became man, and he was crucified for us under Spons Pilate, suffering and was buried on the third day, he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, and ascended into the heaven. He said to the reign of his father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who is spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess one baptism for mission sins. <laughs> upon us, settle your mercy upon us, have compassion upon us. Amen. Hear us. Amen. Bless us, keep us, and help us. Amen. Take away your anger from us, visit us with your salvation. And forgive us our sins. Me, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. you seen have not seen and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard but as for you blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear may we be made worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints pray for the holy god lord have mercy remember 
also our master of those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers, which we lift up unto you, Lord our God, those who have already fallen asleep or repose, those who are so I secure them for you are you. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the healing of us all, the hope of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Alleluia, alleluia, Jesus, verso se borro en te voa, ton fevo, en yet mot, en bi eho, emma, ton te leye, eloia. Stand up with the fear of God and let us listen to the Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Our Lord God and Savior, King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to his glory, forever glorious, due to our God unto the ages of all ages. Amen. From the psalms of our teacher David the prophet and the king, may his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth, sing to the Lord, bless his name, proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God, Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is the glory forever and ever. Amen. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And in this way, he showed himself Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel of Canaan of Galilee, the son of Zebedee, and the two, bro- the two others going fishing. They said to him, We are going with you also. They went out and immediately got into the boat, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning had now come, Jesus stood on the shore Yet that the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Then Jesus said to them, Children, have you any food? They answered him, No. And he said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast, and now they were not able to draw it because of the multitude of the fish. Therefore the disciples whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put, out, he put on his outer garment and plunged into the sea. But the other disciples came in the little boats, dragging the net with fish. Then as soon as they had come to, the, to land, they saw the fire of coals there and fish laid on it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish which you have just caught. Simon Peter went up and dragged the net to land full of large fish, 153, and also there were so many, the net was not broken. Jesus said to them, come and eat breakfast. Yet none of the disciples dared ask him, who are you, knowing that it was the Lord? Jesus then came and took the bread and gave it to them, and likewise the fish. And it is now the third time Jesus showed himself to his disciples after he has risen from the dead. Glory be to God forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Sons versus vorente voav ton fevo. En es mo jefes marot in jeviot nevshir. Nembem neva ethoa. I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from the evil. Christ Jesus, our Lord, the kingdom, the power, the glory for everyone. And bear us souls in some venture. And all we on so kiri, yeah.
Master Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, love us, O God, the Father, has broken all the bonds of our sins, through saving life, giving the passion, and to the face of Satan, the disciples, and all the apostles, so to them receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they'll be forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they'll be retained. Now also, our Master, you've given grace to your holy apostles, so those who live for a time in the priesthood of your church, forgive every sin upon the earth, who went to the service of all iniquity. And also, we ask and treat your goodness, O Lord, mankind, for your servants, my brethren, my we self, those who bow their heads before your glory. Dispense to us your mercy, the service of our sin, if we are from sin against you, no longer, no longer, through your heart. Whether in word or deed or through faint heartedness, you know, Master knows the weakness of the good one. This is a good one, love our mankind, grant us the goodness of our sins, bless us, purify us, absolve us, and all the people. Fill us with your fear, teach us to do your will, fear our God, unto you, to glory, honor, majesty, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and today, just of all ages, amen. Before we conclude, we're going to do the relics for St. Victor and the son of Romanos. He, he, his feast is today. St. George's feast was earlier this week on Wednesday. Um, we did St. George, and we also have the relic for St. Victor, so we're going to do his relic today before liturgy, because during the Holy 50 Days, and generally, you shouldn't be doing the relics during liturgy, so we're going to sneak it in between. Thank Stop it, 
Sin. E oranion tob Make us a Lord worthy to say thankfully, our Father who art in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespasses against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil. Christ is our Lord, for that in the kingdom of the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. The love of God, the Father, the grace of only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, communion and gift of the Holy Spirit. Be with you, go in peace, the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen.
Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The prayer of the third hour and the sixth hour of Christ our King our God. May seek and forgive us our sins from the Psalms of our Father David, Prophet and King. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Exalcio, Theos, Simon, holy, 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 the gospel according to our teacher, St. John Mays, blessings be with us, all amen. When the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, has come, he shall teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I have said unto you. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes to pass that when it comes to pass, you might believe. I will not talk much with you, for the prince of the world comes and has nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, so I do. Arise, let us go from here. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. Glory be to God forever. Amen. May saints be concluded in peace. We worship you, Christ, together, good Father, and the Holy Spirit. For you have come and saved us. Amen. Your Holy Spirit, O Lord, which you sent forth upon your holy disciples and honored apostles of the third hour of this, take not away from us a good one, burn you within us. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and a right spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence, do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. and honored apostles in the third hour of this, take not away from us, our good one, but renew within us. We beseech you, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the word renew within us, is set fast in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of prophecy and chastity, Spirit of holiness, justice, and authority for your life of our souls. Light of our souls, O you who gives light to every man that comes into the world, have mercy on us. O Theotokos, you are the true vine who bore the cluster of life. We ask you, full of grace with the apostles for the salvation of our souls. Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed is the Lord day by day. He prepares our way, for he is God of our salvation. The comforter, the spirit of the truth, was present all the places and he fails all. The treasure of good things and the life giver graciously come and dwell in us and purify us for the fulfillment of the good one and save our souls. <laughs> سلامك وخلصنا في نفوسنا كاينين كاين كاستوس يونا ستوني اولون امين whenever we stand in your holy sanctuary we are considered standing in heaven o theotokos you are the gate of heaven heaven open for us the gate of mercy oh lord uh, holy god holy mighty holy lord Our father and brethren who have fallen asleep, O Lord, repose their souls. 
O you are without sin, Lord, have mercy on us. O you are without sin, Lord, help us to receive our supplications. For we are the glory, the dominion, the true holiness. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, bless us. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine kingdom, and power, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hail to you, we ask you, O saint, full of glory, the ever virgin of the Otokosa, mother of Christ. Lift up our prayers unto your beloved Son, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to the Holy Virgin, who has brought forth unto us the true light, Christ our God. Ask the Lord on our behalf that he may have mercy on our souls and forgive us our sins. O Lord, Virgin Mary, the mother of the Otokosa, the faithful advocate of all mankind. Intercede on our behalf before Christ and you, Lord, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to you, O Virgin, right and true Queen. Hail to the pride of our race, the of us. We ask you to remember us with Christ. Excelsi, O Theos, Iman, holy, 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 the gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you who, when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you, falsely for my sake, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? <clears throat> it is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a, a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light, sh let, let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify you, O God. Glory be to God forever, amen. May things be concluded in peace. We worship you, Christ, together, your good Father and the Holy Spirit. For you who have come and saved us, amen. You, you on the sick day and in the sick hour was nailed to the cross for the sin which our father Adam dared to commit in paradise. Hear the handwriting of our sins, O Christ, our God, and save us. I cry to God, and the Lord heard me. God, hear my prayer, and do not refuse my petition. Be attentive to me and hear me in the evening and morning. In midday I say my words, he hears my voice and delivers my soul in peace. O Jesus Christ our God, who was nailed to the cross in the sixth hour and killed sin by the tree and by your death, you made alive the dead men whom you created with your own hands and I died in sin. Put to death our pains by your healing life, healing passions, and by the nails with which you were nailed. Rescue our minds from thoughtlessness of the earthly deeds and worldly lusts to the remembrance of your heavenly commandments according to your compassion. Since we have no favor nor excuse nor justification because of our many sins, we through you implore to him who was born of you, O Theotokos, the Virgin, for abundant and acceptable is your intercession with our Savior. Holy Mother, do not exclude sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore, for he is merciful and able to save us because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your compassion speedily reach us, for we are exceedingly humbled to help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name. Your salvation is in the midst of all theirs, O Christ our God, as you stretched your hands. On the cross, therefore, all nations cry out, saying, Glory to you, O Lord. You are she who is full of grace. Also, to cause the Virgin, we praise you for so the cross of your son. Head is fell down and death was polished. We were dead, but we are released. But became more to so eternal life and gained the light, the light of the first paradise. Therefore, we thank you, full of glory, 
the mortal Christ of our God. We exalt you, the mother of the true light. We glorify you, O saint, that the of the cross of you have brought forth unto us the same of the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to our master, our king, Christ, the pride of the apostles, the crown of the martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the firmness of the churches, the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity, one Godhead. We worship him, we glorify him. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Truly, we believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, who created heaven and earth and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence of the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and was crucified for us as Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day rose from the dead, according to the Scripture, ascended to heaven, and said to the Holy Father, is coming in his glory. George, the living dead, whose kingdom has no end. Yes, who believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who perceive the Father, the Father and the Son, is worshiped and glorified, who spoke of our prophets, and in the Holy Catholic Apostolic Church, we confess our sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the coming. takes away the sins of the world. Hear us, have mercy on us, and forgive us our sins. Amen.
to the All Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace and edification be to the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who are brought to you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who have brought them. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Blessed be God, the Father, the Pentecostal. Amen. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paracleta. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God forever, amen. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise Him, all you peoples, for His mercies confirmed upon us. And the truth of the Lord endures forever, amen. Alleluia. <laughs> to the beneficent merciful God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto himself, spared us, supported us, and brought us to this hour. Let us also ask the Lord God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Prosebic Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us unto yourself, spared us, supported us, and brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion upon us. He rest, help us, and accept the supplication and prayers of his sin for that which is good on our behalf at all. So, and make us worthy to partake of the communion and the holy and blessed mysteries for the remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we 
ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear. All envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men and the rising up of enemies, hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from this table and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. So Apostles from the mouth of the Holy God, the Evangelist, Saint Mark, the Holy Apostle, Martyr, the Patriarchs, and Severus, our Teacher, Discourse, and Athanasius, the Apostolic, Saint Peter, the Seal, Martyrs, and High Priest, and John, Christ, Holmes, and Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory, from the mouths of the 318 and 190, the 150 are constant, up on 200 Ephesus. From the mouths of our honored fathers, His Holiness, Pope Titus II, and his partner, Apostle Alcott, His Grace, Bishop Peter, and from my, the, my own mouth being the least, for blessing and full of glory is your holy name, O Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now, forever, and today, just follow you. is me.
Rebi Sal besti sinti anas Tasis miha Ili var kunnani fi uvi Epshoi sari mutnanin beko E volintin in nobi Shoy seniyoti en abos Tolos ni mepsi bi'el Teni masiti seb Shoy sayimut nanin biko Evolin tenin nabin She they acconetes marotes tefa nos be sure be ma tirose shoy salimot nan in beko evolenten in novi Lo vorosem mar tiros basho isep ogai geyosi odoros besetratil isfelo betir merkorios avamina enteni vayate.
Christ called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. A chapter from the epistle of our teacher, Paul, to the Ephesians. May his blessings be upon us all, men, my beloved. But you have not so learned Christ. If indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in righteousness and true holiness. Therefore, putting away lying, each one speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God in Christ also forgave you. The grace of God the Father be with you all. The Catholic epistle from the first epistle of our teacher, St. John, may his blessings be upon us all. Amen. Amen. Brethren, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment, which you have heard, you, which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in the light, and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he, who, but he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven, are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abides in you, and, and you have overcome the wicked one. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the f love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away in the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Do not love the world nor the things which are in the world. The, word, the world shall pass away in all its desires, but he who does the will of God shall abide forever. Amen. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
the epistles, the, the holy blessings be with us all, amen. Now while Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was provo provoked within him when he saw that the city was given over to idols. Therefore he reasoned in the synagogue with the Jews and with the Gentile worshippers, and in the marketplace daily with those who happened to be there. Then certain Epicurean and Stoic philosophers encountered him, and some said, what does this babbler want to say? Others said, he wants to be a proclaimer of foreign gods, because he preached to them Jesus and the resurrection. And they took him and brought him to the Areopagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine is of which you speak, for you are bringing some strange things to our ears. Therefore we want to know what these things mean. For all the Athenians and the foreigners who were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new things. Then Paul stood in the midst of the Areopagus and said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are very religious, for as I was passing through and considering the object of your worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, to the unknown God. Therefore, the one who you worship without knowing, him I proclaim to, God who made the world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything, since he gives to all earth life, breath, and all things. And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth, and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their habitation, so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might grow up for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as also some of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver or stone, something shaped by art and man's devising. Truly, these things of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent, because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the, by the man whom he has ordained. He has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the, head, from the dead. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked, while others said, We will hear you again on this matter. So Paul departed from among them, however. Some men joined, them, joined him and believed. Among them, Dionysius the Aeropagite, a man named Damaris, and then others with him. The, Lord, the word of the Lord shall glory, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed. The Holy Church of God, Amen. Thomas Basov, Amun Sharon, Tenam, Eroi Tengson, Be 
سای سای بخیر سای
Yeah. 
שום Christ our God, who said to his saintly honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous persons have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see and your ears, for they hear. May we be made worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we lift up unto you, O Lord our God, those who have already fallen asleep, O Lord, repose, those who are secure, for you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all. 
the healing of our soul, the hope of our soul, and the resurrection of our soul. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless, O Lord, the reading of the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. John. Glory to you. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel, a chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. May his blessings be with us. Our Lord God and Savior, King us all Jesus Christ the Son of the living God to whom is glory forever amen glory is due to our God unto the ages of all ages amen glory to you Blessings be with us all. Amen. Sing to the Lord a new song for the Lord has wrought wonderful works. Shout to God all the earth. Sing and exalt and sing songs. Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever. Where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. Now when he had said this, he showed, him, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Then Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, 
receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas called that he must one of the twelve was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands and the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here, and look at my hands, and reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to them, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book, but, the, but these are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Happy and blessed and glorious Feast of the Resurrection. As we know, we're going to celebrate this feast for 50 days straight, 5-0. It's going to change a little bit after 40 days. It's going to change a little bit after 40 days, but we celebrate for 50 days straight. We had 55 days of fasting, and now we have to 55 days of celebration, and we'll talk about that later. Last Sunday was Resurrection Feast, the main Resurrection Feast, the big glorious one. But every day, in the 50 days, we treat them as another Resurrection Feast. That's why you see that we're wearing, I'm not wearing the full robes, but I'm wearing half of it because it gets heavy and it gets hot. But we're wearing at least part of it, and you guys are singing all in joyful tunes, and we are still doing the Zephyr. Almost everything exactly the same as Resurrection Feast itself. So it's a glorious time, and it's a joyful time. And to really enjoy it, we have to participate in it. Just like I saw you guys all participating today. It's very, very beautiful that we all come and we're all prepared to even share in the procession and to take the blessings of the icon as it goes around. This Sunday is a little bit, has an, an extra dimension to it, an extra special feature to it. It's not just a resurrection day, but we also re remember Thomas, St. Thomas the Apostle, and how he's a great apostle. He, was, he did wonderful things, and he preached all the way, as the church tradition says, all the way to India. He went all the way out there to preach. 
But he had a moment after the resurrection where he did not see Christ like the rest of the disciples after Christ rose from the dead, and so he doubted. Why? Well, because Christ, after he rose from the dead, he appeared many times to the disciples and to many other people. For 40 days he appeared. But when he first appeared to the disciples, there were only 10 of them there. Thomas was not there and, uh, for, for other reasons, and Judas, of course, Iscariot, he was not there. So there were only 10 disciples. And Christ had appeared to them, to those 10, in the upper room. They were in the room waiting. Thomas had left the room. But Christ had told them, told Mary Magdalene to go tell my disciples to wait. I'm coming to see them, and then I will go to Galilee with them. For some reason, Thomas wasn't with them the first time he appeared to them on Sunday. So he missed out. So the disciples came, and the apostles came, and they told him, Thomas, Thomas, we just saw our Lord. He rose from the dead. And he said, I don't believe it. And they said, how can you not believe it? All ten of us are telling you, we saw our Lord. He rose from the dead. He says, you can tell me. All ten of you can tell me, and I still won't believe it. How many people does it take to convince you of something? Like ten? <laughs> Hopefully not. Your mom and dad, that's two. Hopefully you have two. Or maybe just mom, or maybe just dad. But he had ten, his ten brothers who had seen Christ. And then there was more. And then after that, Christ had appeared to 500 people. And he appeared to James. And he appeared to the seven disciples. By the way, there's a lot of different instances. But Thomas had missed most of those. So he said, nope, unless I put my finger in his wounds and his spear and his uh, spear wound and in the hands and the feet, unless I stick my finger in the holes that were created by the nails in his body, I will not believe. Christ said what? Okay. If that's what it's going to take for you to believe, okay. I will come and I will appear again. And so after seven days, on the eighth day, the following Sunday, Christ said, peace be with you again. The same words that he said that Sunday earlier, the next week, just because Thomas was there this time, Christ appeared and he said, peace be with you. I am here, Thomas. Here are my wounds. I know you said it to your brothers. If you don't touch the wounds with your own finger, you won't believe. Here you go. Touch them. Touch them so that you may believe. Why? Because Christ wants us to believe. It's not a game. There's no puzzle. There's no trick. There's no manipulation. It's a matter of life and death. He wants us to believe because if we don't believe, then everything he's done is wasted, is in vain. If after everything he's done and he rose from the dead and I still don't believe for any reason, then his death was in vain. If I don't believe, I won't benefit. And if I don't benefit, then what was the point of him dying on the, on the cross? So he wants us to believe. So if that's what it's going to take, Thomas, to put your finger in my holes, sure, I'll come just for you. And I'll give you my arms and my feet, and you can stick your finger in there, and you can prove it to yourself. But he says a twist at the end. He says, but blessed are those who have not seen and who have not touched and who have not heard it with their own eyes, but they believe. Thomas, because you saw with your eyes, because you touched with your fingers, that is the reason you believe. But there is a greater blessing that you don't have a share in. This is St. Thomas, the great apostle. He said, there's a greater blessing that you don't have a share in. The blessing of believing without seeing. The blessing of believing without hearing, believing without touching. We live in a world today that is very scientific. Very, very scientific. If I can't measure it, and I can't see it, and I can't observe it, then it doesn't exist. And Christ says, blessed are those people who can't measure something, can't see it, can't touch it, but they're still willing to believe. It completely defies our way of understanding life and our way of going through this age. But that is what Christ demands. He says, I'm willing to help you believe. I'm willing to give you anything you need to believe. And if it's seeing and touching and hearing, I will come. And you will see and touch and feel and you will hear my voice and everything. But that's not what it's going to take. And what is it going to take for us? For Thomas, that's all it took. That's all it took. Touch it. He believed. All done. For us, it's not what it's going to take. We live in a different world. And I think the answer for us comes in the, the Gospel in Matins and in the Gospel of Vespers, and in the Catholic and the Pauline. You guys remember what the Gospels were? If you were here yesterday for Vespers, you would see that the Gospel was about the first time Christ came to St. Peter. St. Peter was just Simon, and he, went, he was trying to fish, and he couldn't catch fish. And Christ told him, Go cast your net into the sea and you'll catch fish. And St. Peter said, Lord, you know the story, right? Lord, we've been doing this all night long and we haven't caught anything. This was in the very, very beginning of St. Peter's life, right? 
with Christ, his journey with Christ. And this is in the Sea of Galilee. So Christ says, take your net and cast it and you will find fish. And, and St. Peter says, we haven't caught anything, but by your word, I will cast the net. He had faith. He didn't believe. He, he, didn't, he believed. He didn't see any fish coming out of the water all of a sudden. He didn't hear any fish swimming in the water beside him. He didn't feel them in the boat. He, didn't feel, he had just spent all night trying to catch. He came back. He didn't catch anything. He spent all night. Christ says, that's okay. Go back and catch it again. Try again. So he says, okay, by your word, I will cast the net. And he goes, and of course, what happens? He catches a whole boat full of fish so big that his boat wasn't going to be able to lift it. Christ says, see, now you have seen it, and now you believe. But first you believed, and then you acted, and you were rewarded. Now come and follow me. And instead of being a fisher of fish, I will make you a fisher of men. Very interesting that this was the gospel in Vespers last night. This morning, there's a very similar gospel. I'll tell you everything, and except, everything's exactly the same except for one thing. St. Peter, again, is in the Sea of Galilee, and he's trying to catch fish, and he spent all night trying to catch fish, and he couldn't catch fish. And then he sees Christ on the shore, and he tells him, cast your net into the fish, into the sea. Same sea, same story. Everything is the same. So St. Peter casts his net, catches the fish, and brings it to the shore. And he, there he finds Christ waiting for him on the beach with charcoal and a fire and fish already laid out. Almost two identical stories. Both of them, St. Peter is fishing in the Sea of Galilee, and he can't catch fish for himself. And in both of them, Christ approaches him, and he says, cast your net again, and you will catch the fish. And in both, St. Peter catches all the fish. What's the difference? One was before St. Peter knew anything about Jesus, and one was St. Peter after the resurrection of Jesus. The same story. Why is the church putting the same story before the resurrection for Vespers and after the resurrection for matins. Why is it the same story? What is it about St. Peter? What's going on? Nothing's changed. He's still fishing. He's still trying to catch fish for a living. He was trying to catch fish before he met Christ, and after the resurrection, he's still trying to catch fish. He couldn't catch it. Christ helped him. And then after the resurrection, he couldn't catch it. Christ helped him. Why, what is the church trying to tell us? The church is trying to tell us that even after the resurrection, you must go back to your ordinary lives. You must go back to the way of life that you're accustomed to living with the society that you're surrounded by. But something has to change. You go back, the same job, the same life, the same lifestyle, the same everything. Of course, try to fight sin and not to sin. But you go back to business as usual, but something's got to change. What's changed? St. Peter, in himself, before it, he knew that there was no resurrection. In the very beginning, in the Vespers Gospel, he didn't know anything about resurrection. After it, he believed in the resurrection because he had seen Christ. But he still goes back to business as usual. St. Father Lev Gile tells us something. He says, Christ comes to us after the resurrection, not with a big bang to shake the house and to say, throw everything away and give up your whole lives and... Go raise the dead and dwell. He said those things to the disciples, but to the rest of us, he says, no, don't leave everything. The resurrection is not about overthrowing the world and overthrowing the status quo and living a whole new life and being kings and queens in this earth. No, even after the resurrection, you still live on this earth and you're going to still live by the rules of this earth. So what's the difference? Something must, must change. And he's right, something must change. The way I went to the cross should not be the same as the way I leave the cross. Something has to change in my life. And the answer is in the Catholic and in the Pauline. If we go to the Catholic, and can you put it on the screen? In the Catholic and the Pauline, you'll see that they both say the same message to us, and the Acts, but it's much clearer in the two letters. <coughs> Let's start with the Pauline. Brethren, I write, here, that's perfect. That's okay, we can say with Catholic, that's fine. And we'll go back. Okay, we can do the Pauline. <laughs> Okay, but you have not so learned Christ, St. Paul is saying. If indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him, 
as the truth is Jesus, is in Jesus. So he said, if you actually heard his voice and you were taught by him, you saw him, as the truth is with Jesus, put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Stop there. That you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts and be renewed in the spirit of the mind. He's not saying put off the old job. He's not saying take off the old family. He's not saying take off the old responsibilities, get rid of those. No. He says take off the old conduct. The old man which grows corrupt, your body which is going to be corrupted according to the deceitful lusts, according to sin, but be renewed in the spirit of your mind. He's saying what you are going to live, what you're going to live, what you're going to experience after the resurrection on the outside is going to look exactly the same. You were fishing before, you're going to fish now. You were working in this job before, you're going to work now. Yes, it's boring. Yes, it's long. Yes, it's exhausting. That's not going to change by the resurrection. What is going to change by the resurrection is me, inside of me. When I live in the boring and miserable world or I'm working very hard, how do I internally respond to those circumstances? If there's no resurrection, then I would say, live life. Work hard, play hard. Right? Live the moment. Knock yourself out. There's no consequences, there's nothing. Live hard. After the resurrection, I know that this body, which is working hard and it's going to play hard, it will be judged. And either it will find Hades or it will find heaven. I'm still going to have to live in the world, but now I have this renewed mind, this renewed spirit of a mind, where I know that now there's a greater life and a greater calling to that which I'm doing. How will I live? If I don't live, and we can go to the Catholic epistle, if I don't live with any change in my heart after the resurrection, then I've wasted the resurrection. Don't expect that there will be change outside. I know it's summertime, and I know it's sunny, and it's beach time, and we all, okay, yeah, the resurrection feast came, let's all go eat, and let's all have fun. That's great. You can go eat and have fun and enjoy your time, but that's not the change that the resurrection brings. The resurrection does not bring an outside change. The resurrection brings an inside change. And that's why St. John says in the Catholic, Brethren, I write no new commandment to you. There's nothing new here. But an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write to you. And you'll see why he says it too. Which thing is true in him and in you. Because the darkness is passing away. The darkness of the cross and of everything before the resurrection is passing. And the true light is already shining. When did it start shining? With the resurrection. He who says he is the light, is in the light, and hates his brother, is in darkness until now. You were in darkness before, I'm in darkness before the cross, when I hate my brother. After the cross, I'm still in darkness, but I have a choice. There's been a, a resurrection. There's been a forgiveness of sins. Why do I need to still hate my brother? Why do I need to still be jealous of my sister? Why do I still need to talk about my family and my friends and the other and my neighbors? Why do I need to hurt the people around me? There's a new life and I'm able, I have access through the resurrection to live it inside, not the outside life, the inside life. He who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is still in darkness. The resurrection happened and it's wasted still in darkness, and walks in darkness, and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. The change that the resurrection brings is eternal life and forgiveness of sins. That's got to mean something to me in my personal life. I cannot come to Holy Fr Good Friday and come to the Resurrection Sunday and then Monday, everything is back as normal. My circumstances might be as normal, but my life on the inside has to be different. I have to actively seek what I can do to change, to walk out of the darkness before Christ's resurrection and into the light of Christ's resurrection. St. Peter's response, we don't have time to study it today, but if you study the Vespers and the Matins Gospel, you'll see very carefully that there are differences in how St. Peter's responding. The first time before the resurrection, he was critical. He said, who are you to tell me to throw my nut? I just spent all night. But since you ask, maybe you're a prophet. I will take your word for it and we'll see what happens. 
The second time, Christ is all the way on the shore after the resurrection, and they hear Christ saying, cast your net again. They're not even sure if it's Christ because they can't see him very well. And he does not look the same before the crucifixion and after. But he throws the net anyways. And what does he do, actually? He knows that he's half-dressed because when they're going fishing, they take off like the top robe so that they're more comfortable and they can move. So he sees that it's Christ, and he's telling him to, to cast a net. And he throws on his robe, and he jumps into the water and runs to go meet him. That's the spirit. He didn't do that the first time around. He did that the second time around. What changed? He's still fishing. He's still in the Sea of Galilee. He still couldn't catch fish until Christ told him to catch what changes in his heart, he knows that that is his Redeemer. His Savior is on the shore. He has brought life and light and resurrection to his own. He has brought him salvation. So forget the boat. Forget the fish. Yes, we caught thousands of fish, 153. Forget it. He puts on his robe. He puts on his best clothes, jumps in the water, and goes to swim to Christ. And all the disciples, they come with the rest of the fish on their own. St. Peter left everything. He was the fisher who didn't want to leave the fish. And Christ told him in the very beginning, before I'm done with you, I will make you a fisher of men, not fish. And after the resurrection, he was done with him. And St. Peter heard his Savior calling, and he left his fish, left his boat, left his catch, and came swimming to him. Can we try that in our lives? To start to look at our lives a little bit differently, and to start to desire him a little bit more. If I go into this life day after day, living the same life that I live, the circumstances will not change. My life will stay the same outside, but I will die more and more on the inside because salvation has already been granted me. Love, they say the song, love is in the air. Literally though, love is in the air. Love is all around us. Peace is in the air. Joy is in the air. Salvation is in the air. Eternal life in paradise is in the air. Why do I waste it by not looking? If you cannot see it, do what St. Thomas did. Lord, help me to see so that I may believe. And he will help you to see. He really will. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. He will. But purify the heart. Make a change in your heart. Leave the darkness of the former life and put on the newness of the spirit, uh, newness and spirit of the mind. Happy, happy resurrection and glorious resurrection feast and happy Thomas Sunday. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Thomas, my chosen, come unto me to see me, to know me, for I am Jesus Christ. I rose from the dead. Truly we believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, who created heaven and earth and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before the ages, light of light, true God and true God, begotten and not created, one in the of the Father, by whom all things are made. For us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was the creator of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
and he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended from the heavens, and he sits at the right hand of his Father. He is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, who believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, life giver, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son, is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in all the holy Catholic and Catholic Church, we confess on baptism for the mission of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Exalted above all power of speech and all thoughts of the mind is the richness of your gifts, O our Master. For that which you have hidden from the wise and knowledgeable, you have revealed to us little children, and those things which prophets and kings have desired to see and have not, you have granted them to us who are sinners, that we may serve them and be purified thereby. When you establish for us the economy of your only begotten Son and the mystagogy of the sacrifice, which has neither the blood of the law nor the righteousness of the flesh round about it, rather the sheep is spiritual and the knife is verbal and intangible, this then is the sacrifice that we offer unto you. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Cleanse our lips and free our minds from all carnal pollution. And send to us the grace of your Holy Spirit and make us worthy to greet one another with a holy kiss that without casting us into condemnation we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift in Christ Jesus our Lord. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yes, Jesus Christ, Son of God, hear us and have mercy on us. Offer, 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 with yes, trembling Lord. hands. Stand your trembling, look towards the east, let us uh, Through the intercession of the Theotokos, Saint Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Worship you, o Christ, with your good Father, and the Holy Spirit, for you have risen and saved us. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice, a, a prayer. The Lord be with us. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the highest and looks upon the lowly, who has created the earth, the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, by whom you have all created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You are seated, stand. Before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look towards the east. You are he around whom stand the cherubim, full of eyes, and the seraphim on their six wings, praising continuously without ceasing, saying, the cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of
Agaios. Holy, holy, holy indeed, O Lord our God, who formed us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed your commandment by the deceit of the serpent, we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always given, visited us through your holy prophets. And in the last days you manifested yourself to us who were sitting in darkness and in the shadow of death through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary. Amen. Was incarnate and became man and taught us the ways of salvation. He granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit. He made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who were in the world and as a ransom on our behalf gave himself up unto death, which reigned over us, whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sins. He descended into Hades through the cross. Amen. I believe. dead on the third day he ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand O father he has appointed a day for recompense on which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds. according to your mercy Lord, Lord, and not according to for us this great mystery of self godliness for being determined to give himself up unto death for the life of the world Truly we believe he took bread into his holy which are without spot or blemish, blessed in life giving. We believe that this is true. Amen. He looked up toward heaven to you, O God, who are his Father and Master of everyone. And when he had given thanks, Amen. he blessed it. Amen. He sanctified it. to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take eat of it, all of you, for this is my body, which is given, broken for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. This do in remembrance of me. This is true. also the cup after supper he mixed it of wine and water and when he had given thanks Amen. he blessed it Amen. he sanctified it Amen. Tasted 
it also to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. This do in remembrance of me. This is also Drink of this cup, you preach my death, compress my resurrection, and remember me till I come. Amen, 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 your death, O Lord, we proclaim your holy resurrection, and I say, Resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, his sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory. We offer unto you from what is yours for everything concerning everything and in everything. Worship God in fear and trembling. We praise you. We we serve you, we worship you. Let us attend, amen. And this bread he makes it into his holy body. I believe, amen. And this cup also the precious blood of his new covenant. Again I believe, amen. Given for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. Amen, Lord, amen. Master, to partake of your holies unto the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, so that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a shared inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. For remember, O Lord, the peace of your one, only holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. This which you have acquired to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. Foremost, remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch, Pope Abba Tawadros II, and his partner in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop of Apiteria. Lord, have mercy. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with them, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Egomens, priests, and deacons. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people, remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us all, God, the Father, the Father, the Father, the Father. Remember, O Lord, the salvation. 
desolation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox fathers. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell there in God's faith graciously accord, O Lord, the air of the heaven, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the river, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year to bless the Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Praise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare for sowing and harvesting. Manage our lives as you deem fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, so you will give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness that we too, having sufficiency in everything always, May abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O oh Lord, those who are brought to you, these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy, precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who bring. Lord, have mercy. As this, O Lord, is the command of your only begotten Son that we share in the commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos and Mary, who truly gave birth to God the Logos. And St. John the Forerunner, Baptist and Martyr, St. Stephen the Archdeacon and Proto-Martyr, the Beholder of God, the Evangelist, Mark the Holy Apostle and Martyr, the Patriarch St. Severus, our teacher Dioscoros, St. Athanasius the Apostolic, St. Peter the Holy Martyr and Archpriest, Saint John the Chrysostom, Saint Theodosius, Saint Theophilus, Saint Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory the Theologian, Saint Gregory the Wonder Worker, and Saint Gregory the Armenian. The 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous Father, the Great of Antony, our righteous Father of Paul, the three saints of Macari, and all their children, the cross bearers. Our Father of John the Egoman, our righteous Father of Pishoi the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the choir of your saints through whose prayers and supplications have mercy on us all and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep O oh Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. <laughs> souls you have taken repose them in the paradise of joy in the region of the living forever in the heavenly jerusalem in that place and we too who are sojourners in this place keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end kingdom that is in this so also in all things your great and holy name may be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed with jesus christ 
your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Again, let us give thanks to God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for he has also made us worthy now to stand in this holy place and to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mystery. Amen. the Pantocrator, the Lord, our God. Amen, amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who through his cross descended to Hades and restored our father Adam and his children to paradise. He buried us with himself, and through his death he abolished the power of death. And on the third day he rose from the dead. Christ is risen from the dead. The archangel ascend descended from heaven and rolled the stone from the door of the tomb and proclaim the glad tidings to the woman carrying the spices, saying, Christ is risen from the dead. Truly he is risen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. He breathed into the face of his saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Therefore we ask you, O our Master, purify us from all hypocrisy, that with a pure heart we may dare with boldness Without fear to entreat you, O God the Father, who is in the heavens, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for His the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. There is Jesus be. Oh, 
vovô Amin Irini Fasi Ketum Nemati Absolve us and absolve all you people from every sin, from every curse, from every denial, and from every false oath, from every encounter of the heretics and the heathen. O our Master, grant us our power and reason, understanding to flee unto the end, from the every evil, and grant us to do us to all times. Scribe our names with all the glory of your saints in the kingdom of Christians. Remember, O Lord, our assemblies, bless them. Save Darmin with your spirit and the fear of God, let us attend. May Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The Holy is for the Holy, blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ. He is sanctified it by his Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the All Holy Father, one is the All Holy Son, one is the All Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with all and with your spirit. The Holy Body and the precious true blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of our God, amen. Amen. The holy, precious body and the true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God, amen. Amen. The body and the blood of Emmanuel, our God, this is true, amen. Amen, I believe. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe and confess to the last breath. That this is the life-giving flesh that your only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ, took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotokos and Mary. He made it one with his divinity, without mingling, without confusion, without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly, I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment, nor a twinkling of an eye. Given for us for salvation, remission of sins, and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe. I believe that this is true. Amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them. Remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy partaking of the immaculate and heavenly holy mysteries. Lord have mercy. Zoksa si kere
Oh, uh-huh.